this is my software and I'm going to show you how to integrate a document editor, online document editor, into your own software in Laravel with the option save. Let's go. Okay, here is your need to install the developer edition from this enterprise only office. Uh, this is the edition, developer edition, and the name is document server. If you install it in a VPS, the VPS won't have access to your computer because you don't have an, a public IP address. So if you want to make tests in your own computer, you need to install it into your computer too. As I did, I did it with an with in Windows with an exe file in localhost port 8003. As you can see, here are the the codes in my computer. But you can also install in your own VPS and using Docker version is is um, some more or less easy not difficult but not easy okay so in the documentation they show you how to integrate the document editor first you need to add a div with the id with with, with an id in this uh, in this case is placeholder then you add the script with the codes that I just showed you. Then you need the configuration, which is going to pass as a parameter in the object instantiated from Docs API. It receives two parameters. Placeholder is the div where it's going to paint the, the editor and the config. The config receive many parameters. I'm going to show you. You can find this in the official documentation from only Office Enterprise. These are the parameters. All the parameters you can set. Some optionals and some are uh, necessary. Customization, autosave, this is in the documentation, official documentation, okay. So I'm going to show you in, uh, in my software, in Laravel, I created a view with the motor, with the, with the blade engine only office.blade.php it's this is located in the in the view folder this is my id my div with a, with the id placeholder here is the code i just showed you from the document server developer edition here is the object sending the two parameters the i the div id and four important things one is the name of the file as you can see i'm printing it with the with La, with laravel with blade the url where the where the file is located is downloaded in my case is downloaded in the folder in the folder public public storage full alumnos editables here's the here is where the files is going to save to download the third thing is the callback url this is the function which is going to save your file this is the function the PHP function, it could be node, it could be 
.NET, I used PHP. And also the fourth and also important is the customization for safe true. Okay, so now let me show you the the controller. I create the the file here. I, I make I build my file, my docx file, and here is the the end of the function. You can see the file location, the name of the file. Here I test if the file already exists in the folder. If the file already exists in the folder. I'm going to talk about this uh, uh, soon. Okay, if the file already exists in the folder, then only return the view on LeOffice that I showed you, .blade.php, with the file location and the name of the file and this save that I'm going to talk about. Else, if the file isn't in the folder, save it in that in that folder full alumnos editables and return the view on leoffice.blade.php with these three things the same three things the file location the name of the file and this save this save is an url this url belongs to this file callback on leoffice.php this asset takes me to the public folder. So I'm, I'm sending to the, the function for, for saving the, the, the changes, the user changes in the, in the document uh, is this function callback on leoffice.php. And also I send the name of the folder, the name of the, of the file sorry the name of the file as a get variable now let me show you this file which is receiving name of the file the name of the file this is the file located in the public folder you can find this in the only office documentation PHP input all the same but here you uh, here you are going to put the location with this get and the name of the file I sent from the controller that's all you need now let me show you When I click in here in my own software, the file is downloaded. I can make my new changes. My document. And I can click here in save or I can press Ctrl S. It says it's saving the document. All the changes uh, has been have been saved. When you closed the file, is when the file is saved. It's finally saved. Let me show you. Make my new changes in my document. That's all. I hope you can achieve your goals with, with this only office enterprise. Good luck.